Video number 66, the boundedness theorem. We use this theorem for polynomials with degree at least one, that's pretty obvious, and real, uh, real coefficients and a positive leading coefficient. That's probably the more important idea. Now, as we use synthetic division and we divide by x minus c, meaning we put c in the box for synthetic division, if c is greater than zero, so you put a positive number in the box, and all the bottom row of synthetic division are not negative, so at least zero, then f of x has no real zeros greater than c. Okay. Likewise, if we put a negative number inside the synthetic dividing box, and all the bottom rows of synthetic division are alternating signs between positive and negative, then, and obviously, we, well, not obviously, but we use zero either way. So it could be positive, negative, zero, negative, positive, you know, so you're going to alternate between positive and negative, but zero can be used either way. Then f of x has no real zeros less than c. So here we go. Here's an example. Show that f of x has no real zeros less than negative 3. So we put the negative number in the box, and we do synthetic division. We're looking for, we are looking for alternating signs. And that's exactly what we get. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Therefore, negative 3 has no real zeros less than, I'm sorry, f of x has no real zeros less than negative 3. Okay? Then, um, if we did the same thing, show that f of x has no real zeros greater than 2. We put 2 inside the synthetic dividing box. Our bottom row is all positive, or in other words, all non-negative. So you could have had a 0 here, and that would still prove that f of x has no real zeros greater than 2. Any questions or concerns, send me an email, and of course, good times.